LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Okay, so we're going to show you how to install your key onto your keyboard. We're going to start out by looking at the keyboard itself. You can see at the top corners here, there's um, metal hooks. And those are going to grab onto the hinges. At the bottom here, there's two hooks, but note that these are smaller. You have to look at the different keys because sometimes the small hooks can be at the top or maybe even to the side. And um, the position for those metal hooks determines the position for these metal plastic hinges. So what we're going to do right now is click these two pieces together to make one and then after that we're going to install it onto the keyboard and then we're going to place the keycap on top of that so we're going to start out by determining the position of this piece here which is the large one you can see that at the top it has two plastic pins in the middle it has two plastic pins going in and at the bottom it has two smaller ones now make sure not to put the whole piece upside down like this because it looks the same but it won't let the mechanism work what you have to do is look at the top bar if you see the piece is one straight piece that faces the keyboard like that so now you should be able to see that in the middle there's kind of a, a thinner part or a part that's going down closest to the, you know, um, away from the rest of the bar. So now that you know the position for this piece, put it down for now. You get your next piece, which is this. Now this one has the small pins at the top and the large ones in the bottom. Make sure not to put the whole piece upside down like that. By looking at the middle, if you can see the fittings for like holes in the middle uh, left and right then that part faces the keyboard like that now you can see that it's just one solid piece there are no holes in the middle right there right there you're supposed to see it on the other side so now that you know the position for both pieces, what you do is put the small piece over the large piece and then insert one of the pins into the hole that's on the small piece. Let's do the left side first. Once you have that one in, you grab it and don't let it come back out. We're going to insert the large um, I mean the uh, pin that's in the large piece into the hole that's in the small piece now but um, we have to do this by separating both pieces in order for th for the pin to have enough space to actually go into the hole now remember hold on to this because we don't want that to come out anymore we've already inserted this one hold it tight and we're going to separate the large one from the small one over here and there you go. Now both pins are in both holes. The both pieces are one. What you do is the uh, p 
the pins that are at the bottom of the small piece are going to go underneath the two small hooks on the keyboard, wherever they may be. In this case, they're at the bottom, so we're going to do it like that. If they were to the side, you would do it like that. So go ahead and insert those pins underneath the small hooks, and there you go. Now you hold that down, don't let it come back up, and then you kind of want to push the plastic hinges upwards, or slide them up I should say, in order for the pins that are at the very top to go underneath the hooks. And at the same time, kind of press down towards the keyboard in order for the pieces to go right under the the hooks. You should feel a click also, or hear it. Now, uh, you know, everything is in place. You get your key and you put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. And that's it. Now, for the larger pieces here, they come with a metal wire. What you it's the same mechanism as far as the hinges go, but uh we have to insert the wire onto the key. So you can see that at the bottom here it has two fittings and then two fittings um above it. But at the very edge of the um uh, key cap there's three fittings. That's where you're going to put the wire. So the wire goes in between those two those fittings of course. You do one side in, once you have that, you do the center, and then the other side. Now that the wire is there, you don't want to push it down like that. You want to keep it open, and then go to the actual place where it belongs. Uh, let's see, do the... Um, Uh, I think for the hinges here, just so I can show you guys how it all works. Now, this is the position for the key, of course, and you leave the wire open and you put the wire underneath the very corners here. Those metal ho hooks are going to grab onto this wire here, so. You do one side first, just like that. Now you stretch the wire in order for the other side to go in. Now both wires are in, and you just put the key in the center of the hinges and push down evenly on all four sides. And then uh, if everything is in order, the key should come up on its own. And there you go. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.